Do you believe you know everything about trust? Think again. Contrary to common logic, trust, this invisible glue that holds all our relationships together, can be built and destroyed in the blink of an eye, not years. It's a shocking statement, I know, but what I'm about to reveal in the next few minutes goes beyond any conventional belief. In just a few minutes, you'll discover a hidden secret deep within human relationships that can transform the way you interact with friends, family, and even strangers. Are you ready to challenge everything you thought you knew about the foundation of human relationships? Then, don't look away because what's coming next will change your perception forever. Get ready for a startling revelation in today's video. We'll navigate the uncertain terrain of human relationships, focusing on nine types of personalities that will challenge everything you know about trust. Forget the conventional. I'm here to shed light on the dark corners of the human psyche. Imagine unraveling in just a few minutes the secrets behind the actions and words of those we're trusting seems like a risky game. Are you ready for this journey? Today, we'll not only identify these intriguing types, but also explore why blindly trusting them can be a dangerous game. Each step of this journey will lead us to question, who really deserves a place in our life? Teachings from the Stoics will guide us, not to disrespect, but to recognize when it's time to step back to protect our well-being. Join me on this exciting journey, where we'll balance wisdom and caution, learning to maintain a safe distance without losing the humanity in our relationships. This isn't just a lesson, it's a transformative adventure. Are you ready to have your perception of trust turned upside down? In our journey of discoveries about trust, we encounter the first intriguing character, the manipulator. Navigating the treacherous waters of relationships with these personalities is a challenge that requires caution. Why? Because maintaining an emotionally healthy environment is essential. Manipulators, masters in the art of selfishness, are always in pursuit of their own benefits, regardless of the cost to others. They use a range of cunning tactics, from lies and psychological games to emotional exploitation, all to achieve their ends. The danger lies in the subtlety of their maneuvers, making them difficult to identify. These behaviors can arise in both personal relationships and the workplace. Trusting manipulators can result in betrayals and deep emotional wounds, as well as erode the trust you place in others. So, how do you protect yourself from these crafty figures? It all starts by recognizing the signs of manipulation. Be alert to indicators such as lack of transparency, inconsistent behaviors, and that persistent feeling of being under control. Establishing clear boundaries is crucial. Communicate firmly and don't hesitate to express discomfort in the face of manipulative attitudes. At times, distancing yourself is the most accurate decision, especially if the manipulation does not cease. Respecting yourself means recognizing when a relationship is toxic and taking actions to protect your mental health. This may involve breaking ties with manipulators and seeking emotional support when necessary. By staying alert to these signs and establishing firm boundaries, you pave the way for healthier and more genuine relationships. It's a journey towards self-preservation and building genuine and lasting connections. As we dive into the complex webs of human interactions, we encounter the second intriguing type, the incessant critic. Picture a broad and varied landscape of interpersonal relationships where these continuous criticisms tend to reveal more about the critic than about the target of these observations. It's as if a spotlight shines on the critic themselves, exposing their true colors. Reflecting on the key question, when is it prudent to distance oneself from these personalities? 
Imagine discovering a clearing, a refuge amid a dense forest, a sanctuary for healthy relationships away from the whirlwind of incessant criticism. Picture gossipers and rumor spreaders as shadowy figures from a medieval village. Their whispered conversations continue even in your absence. Stepping away from them is as wise as a navigator avoiding turbulent waters. These individuals, obsessed with pointing out others' flaws to elevate themselves, resemble participants in a masquerade ball where true intentions hide behind disguises. As you watch this video, you become a discerning spectator. Think about the critics and gossipers. They are not engaged in constructive activities. They are the clowns in the spectacle of modern life, intent on degrading others to mask their own dissatisfaction. Navigating through this narrative, remember to selectively choose those who are part of your journey. Those who spew malice can, with the same ease, turn their backs on you. Delving into the analysis of the third character, the perpetual friend to everyone, we emerge into a complex tapestry of social interactions. This individual, often seen as the vibrant epicenter of any gathering, radiates apparent warmth and a readiness to help. Their presence is like the sun in a cloudless sky, drawing others in with their brightness and contagious energy. However, beneath this veneer of charm and charisma lies a more nuanced reality. This character is a maestro in the orchestra of social relations, skillfully playing the strings of amiability and agreeableness to compose a symphony that resonates with the melody of popularity. Their relentless pursuit of acceptance and admiration may reflect not a desire for deep, meaningful connections, but an insatiable thirst to be the center of attention. In their world, relationships are often viewed not as genuine exchanges of affection, but as steps on a ladder to social ascent. In this scenario, you might find yourself as just another spectator in their audience, another face in the crowd, rather than a friend in the true sense of the word. They can be like a skilled actor, whose role is to be friendly and accessible, but whose script does not include emotional depth or genuine commitment. Their smile, while warm and inviting, may be as rehearsed as a gesture of politeness. This archetype reminds us of the importance of discerning between those whose friendship is rooted in authentic feelings and those whose camaraderie is a calculated performance. In a world where appearances often overshadow reality, true friendship is a rare treasure characterized by a connection that goes beyond shiny surfaces and affable words. Therefore, as we encounter these friends to everyone, it is wise to remember that true connection is a dialogue of souls, not just an exchange of smiles and greetings. It's fertile ground where sincerity blossoms and authenticity takes root. Far from the shadows of superficiality and self-deception, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to leave your comment, a like, and subscribe to the channel as we continue. In the intricate tapestry of human relations, we encounter the fourth character, a true chameleon of communication, the pretender of attention. This figure is a master in the art of feigning interest, a skilled actor in our daily theater of dialogues. Have you ever come across someone like this? Someone who automatically responds with phrases like I understand or that's true, but whose eyes and mind wander far from the conversation? This posture is not just tedious, but carries an air of subtle disrespect. Worse still is when, in their turn to speak, this interlocutor dives into the world of their cell phone, navigating a digital ocean while you try to establish a real connection. Their responses become empty echoes, lacking weight or genuine interest. It's as if, for them, maintaining an appearance of participation is sufficient without real commitment to the exchange of ideas. In such moments, 
You might feel like you're talking to a wall where your words reverberate without finding a destination. Frustration grows when you realize that the other party is more committed to pixels and notifications than to the richness of human conversation. Here arises a dilemma. Persist in trying to establish a dialogue with someone clearly uninterested or opt to end the interaction respecting your own time and effort. The answer seems clear. There is no logic in pouring energy into a bottomless vessel. Valuing your own words and time means recognizing when they are not being appreciated. Therefore, do not hesitate to walk away from such interactions. It's not a matter of giving up, but choosing to invest where your communication will be valued. There's no need to maintain respect for someone who chooses to feign attention while distracted with their cell phone. By making the decision to walk away, you are choosing conversations that enrich, that are reciprocal and meaningful. In this scenario, the silence you choose can be more powerful than wasted words. It's a decision of self-valorization and pursuit of authentic interactions, where each party is truly present, both in listening and in speaking. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. In the intricate mosaic of human relationships emerges the fifth character, the one devoid of empathy, whose inclination to deceive or harm for personal gain reveals an alarming trait. Empathy is like a beacon in the darkness of indifference. It allows us to feel and understand the pain of others. Imagine empathy as an inner voice that questions us. What if it were me? This ability to put oneself in another's place is what makes us human, what fosters trust and mutual understanding. When we encounter someone devoid of this vital faculty, we tread on dangerous ground. Such individuals with their inability or reluctance to perceive and value others' feelings can easily cross the line of respect and decency without a hint of remorse. They view others as pieces on a chessboard, moving them without considering the emotional consequences of their actions. This lack of empathy goes beyond mere insensitivity. It's a deficiency in emotional understanding that manifests in harmful behaviors. These people can be masters of manipulation, using words and actions to achieve their goals without a second thought about the negative impact they may have on others. Furthermore, an aversion to responsibility is a striking characteristic of these individuals. They might commit mistakes or harm others, but they rarely take responsibility for their actions. Instead, they find excuses or shift the blame, remaining in a bubble of self-justification. Thus, the lesson we draw here is crucial. When dealing with people who demonstrate a clear lack of empathy, it's important to maintain a high degree of caution. Their inability to value and understand the feelings of others makes them potentially dangerous in terms of personal relationships. These individuals can not only cause emotional harm, but can also be sources of unnecessary confusion and conflict. Therefore, it's essential to approach such people with a mix of awareness and caution. The ability to recognize a lack of empathy in someone can be a valuable tool in protecting against manipulations and deceptions. In these cases, trust should be reserved for those who demonstrate a genuine and sincere understanding of the impact of their actions on others. These are the people who, by understanding the emotions of others, build relationships based on mutual respect and genuine consideration. As we navigate the challenges of interpersonal relationships, remembering that not everyone possesses the capacity or the willingness to empathize is vital. This enables us to create stronger and more meaningful bonds with those who truly value and understand the complexities of the human heart.
Venturing deeper into our journey of understanding interpersonal relationships, we encounter the sixth character, the constant provocateur, always wrapped in the certainty of their own rightness. This character is a master in the art of triggering irritation, a skilled manipulator of emotions who operates on a subtle terrain, often invisible to the inattentive eye. There is a fundamental difference between transient impatience, the kind that surfaces in times of tension, and the chronic irritation that this character provokes. They possess an almost hidden ability to throw words and actions that, like fine needles, prick and irritate without leaving visible marks. They plant seeds of doubt, twist realities with cunning comments, and provoke with an efficiency that is almost imperceptible. The challenge here is to recognize this emotional and psychological game that unfolds gradually and discreetly. These provocateurs often revel in the simple act of disturbing others' emotional balance, finding pleasure in the discomfort they cause. They play this subtle game not to gain something tangible, but for the sheer pleasure of seeing others destabilized. Essentially, being aware of these games and tricks is crucial to avoid being unwittingly entangled in their webs. When you realize that someone is consistently provoking irritation, it's a clear indication that you are being subtly manipulated. These actions can be difficult to detect, as they are often disguised as harmless comments or casual jokes. Prepare yourself to deal with these complex dynamics consciously. Recognizing when you are being manipulated, even subtly, is the first step in protecting yourself. Developing a keen perception of these interactions will allow you to maintain your emotional balance and respond appropriately. Remember, sometimes the best defense is a sharp awareness of these games. By being aware of the subtle tactics of these characters, you empower yourself to navigate these complicated social landscapes with greater clarity and resilience. This awareness not only protects your emotional well-being, but also allows you to interact more authentically and less reactively with those around you. The seventh character emerges with a cloud of perpetual challenges hovering over their head. This individual seems to be in an endless cycle of conflicts and adversities, proclaiming that life is a series of insurmountable obstacles. They live in a constant state of dissatisfaction, but what is more intriguing is their apparent inability or unwillingness to alter the course of their circumstances. This person seems to have a knack for finding difficulties at every turn. They are characterized by sharing their misfortunes with everyone around them, painting a picture of their life as a labyrinth of trials and tribulations. But a closer look reveals something more. Often, it is their own choices and actions that lead them to these recurring problems. The pattern of constantly facing problems is not mere coincidence or inexplicable misfortune. In many cases, it is a direct consequence of poorly calculated decisions and a refusal to learn from past mistakes. The person appears to be trapped in a vicious cycle of self-inflicted problems, a web of complication they themselves weave. When interacting with this type of individual, it is vital to maintain a certain emotional distance. By getting deeply involved with them, you risk being drawn into their chaotic world, where their problems can start to weigh on your shoulders as heavy burdens. Their inability to manage their own emotions adds another layer of complexity to the situation, making involvement even riskier. It is advisable to approach this person with a healthy dose of skepticism. When faced with their narratives of endless difficulties, it is important to remember that their problems can easily become a weight for you. Compassion is a virtue, but it should not be exercised at the expense of your own well-being. Remember that while everyone's life has its own challenges, Absorbing someone else's difficulties 
can be an excessive burden. In certain situations, the most sensible choice is to maintain a safe distance, preserving your own peace and balance. Sometimes in the complex dance of life, the wisest move is to step back and take care of your own well-being. The eighth, in the vast universe of human relationships, we come across a particularly enigmatic character, the master of duplicity, whose skill in spreading gossip is as developed as their ability to display a friendly face. This eighth character at times may seem like a loyal friend, but hides a darker facet revealed only behind the scenes. They are true artists of dissimulation, capable of switching between a warm smile and kind words to, in the next moment, weaving a web of rumors and intrigues. This duality is not limited to one person, they spread their harmful stories about many, creating a trail of misunderstandings and mistrust. The danger of these individuals lies in their ability to sow discord subtly. They often start their gossip insidiously, mixing truths and falsehoods so skillfully that it becomes difficult to distinguish the real from the fabricated. With a comment here and another there, they can tarnish reputations, distort perceptions and destabilize previously solid relationships. When you encounter such behavior, the situation demands an immediate and decisive response. Maintaining a relationship with a person who demonstrates such duplicity is like walking on a minefield of distrust and falsehood. Honesty and integrity pillars of any healthy relationship are foreign concepts to these masters of dissimulation. Therefore, upon detecting this duplicity, protecting your peace and well-being should be your highest priority. Distancing yourself from these people may be the wisest and most preventive choice. By moving away, you protect yourself from being involved in a vortex of gossip and falsehoods, preserving your integrity and tranquility. Remember, the presence of people like these in your life can be extremely toxic. They not only corrode trust, but also pollute the social environment with their poisonous words. The ability to recognize and distance yourself from these individuals is crucial. It's an act of self-defense, a strategic move to keep your mental and emotional health intact. In summary, the eighth character in our narrative is a reminder that not all smiles are sincere and not all friendly words reflect true intentions. The lesson is, be vigilant and protect yourself. The ability to identify and disentangle yourself from people who practice the art of gossip and duplicity is essential for safely navigating the complex waters of human relationships. By doing so, you choose a path of honesty and integrity, moving away from those who prefer to live in the shadows of falsehood and dishonesty. In the vast panorama of our tale about interpersonal relationships emerges the ninth and complex character, the toxic individual. Interacting with such people is an emotional minefield filled with traps that can deeply harm mental and emotional health. These are the masters of negativity, experts in sowing distrust and discomfort. Toxic traits manifest in various and insidious ways. It may be through continuous criticisms that erode self-esteem, emotional manipulations that confuse and destabilize, or disrespectful behaviors that hurt and alienate. These individuals create a suffocating atmosphere where happiness and productivity are constantly undermined. The perpetuated negativity by toxic people is like a virus, infecting the environment and spreading to those around. Being in the company of such individuals can be an exhausting journey, where each interaction becomes a challenge to maintain one's emotional integrity. Recognizing toxicity is the first step in protecting yourself. It's crucial to be aware of the signs, from derogatory comments to controlling attitudes, and understand how these dynamics affect your well-being. Respecting yourself means setting firm boundaries and not allowing another person's toxic behavior to invade your emotional space. 
Communicating assertively is key. Expressing discomfort in the face of toxic behavior is not just a right but a necessity for preserving your mental health. However, when negativity persists and toxicity continues to infiltrate, the decision to distance oneself becomes not only sensible but necessary. Emotional self-defense against toxic individuals is an essential practice. By identifying harmful behavior patterns, you empower yourself to establish and maintain healthy boundaries. This is not just a form of self-preservation, but also a step towards cultivating more positive and enriching relationships. Creating a space that nurtures well-being and positivity is an act of self-care. In the complex fabric of human relationships, choosing to surround yourself with people who contribute to your emotional health is essential. Through the practice of recognizing and distancing yourself from toxic influences, you can build an environment where healthy and enriching relationships flourish. Thus, by distancing yourself from toxic individuals, you not only protect yourself, but also pave the way for more authentic and meaningful connections. As we conclude our enlightening journey through the universe of human relationships and their complexities, I'd like to remind you that every moment we spend together is a step in our collective journey of discovery and growth. But before we say our goodbyes, I have something special to share, a secret that can change the way you see the world around you. If you found this video illuminating, imagine what else is waiting for you on our channel. Each video is a piece of a larger puzzle, revealing insights into human nature and strategies for a more fulfilling and satisfying life. By subscribing, you join a community of insightful and curious thinkers, all in pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. But don't keep this treasure to yourself. Share this video with friends and family. You never know who might benefit from these valuable insights. By sharing, you not only support our work, but also contribute to spreading knowledge and understanding. And of course, your thoughts and experiences are precious to us. Leave a comment below sharing your stories or any reflections this video may have sparked. Each comment is a window to new perspectives and enriches the experience of all. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, show your support with a like. Each like is a sign that we are on the right track, motivating us to bring even more valuable content to you. See you next time.